Good day ladies and gentlemen, Rosa here of Splat Communications and Simplified Strategic Solutions. Our video for today is about the comparison and integration of survey data. We shall compare all the data from all the surveys for this month, April using basic comparison and by using data science. This is important because we want to show first how accurate Kolya survey summaries are and but first, please allow us to make these simple requests. Please do not skip ads as this allows us to remain independent. Please subscribe if you have not done so yet, we noticed that a lot of viewers have not subscribed yet. Please do so, it will really help us a lot. Please like and share the videos as well. Please share the relevant information in the videos to others, let them know about it too. We encourage a healthy exchange of opinion in the comment section. Just be mindful of the words you use as this is a direct reflection of you as a person. Thank you. We shall start the Lalo research results immediately after the short channel intro for a few seconds. Thank you. Let us now compare two survey data, both with the same number of respondents at 3000 and the same margin of error at plus minus 2% with the confidence level set at 95%. The Lalo survey is a scientific survey while the Kolya survey summary is not. However, comparing these two results based on data science is possible because their target population, their number of respondents, their confidence level and their margins of error are the same. We have explained this in our previous video, the link is in the description. Thank you. As can be gleaned from the table, the topmost portion are the call yes survey summary results from Splat Communications April 1-10, 2022. The middle row are the results from the Lalo research as posted by media personality Mr. Erwin Tolfo. Now, please shift your attention to the row that is enclosed in the red rectangle. This row represents the difference between the results of the two studies. As can be seen the differences in the presidentials from left to right, Senator Ping Laksan 1%, Senator Manny Pacquiao 0.4%, VP Lenny Robredo 2.6%, Manila Mayor Isco Domagoso 0.5%, former Senator Ferdinand Marcos Jr. 2% and undecided 0.5%. As can be clearly seen, both Lalo survey and Kolya survey summaries yielded very similar results. It showed no significant statistical difference. We can deduce or claim based on this data science-driven computation that the Kolya survey summaries are as accurate as the scientific surveys. Now, kindly look at the bottom row enclosed in the green rectangle. We computed for the mean or the average preference shares based on this data science-based comparison. These are the most accurate presidential preference figures and we shall quantify this later on. Now, let us look at the comparison of the survey results for the month of April from five different organizations. Kindly focus your attention on the chart enclosed in the red rectangle. We are sure you know most of this already. Now, kindly shift your focus on the topmost row, this is the mean or average of the preference shares of the presidentials from these five survey organizations. This comparison is based on a layman or a simplistic form of comparison no consideration was emphasized regarding the differences in their sample size their margin of error, and methodologies. Their mean or average are as follows, Senator Ping Laksan, 3, 4% Senator Manny Pacquiao, 4.3%, Pipi Lenny Robredo, 21%, Manila Mayor Isco Domagoso, 7.8%, former Senator Ferdinand Marcos Jr., 59.6%, and undecided 4.6%. We shall now compare the mean from this group to the previous mean we computed earlier. 
Let us now check if there are really major significant differences between a data science-driven comparison or a layman simple data comparison. The topmost row show the mean or average of the presidential preferences in our first comparison between Splat Communications and Lalo Research we had earlier. The middle row shows the mean or average preference share based on the simple comparison between the five survey results from five different survey organizations. Now, kindly focus your attention on the bottom row enclosed in the red rectangle. We can see the differences between the two sets of studies. From left to right, Senator Ping Laxon 1.1%, Senator Manny Pacquiao 0.5%. VP Lenny Robredo 1.3%, Manila Mayor Isco Domagoso 1.05%, former Senator Ferdinand Marcos Jr. 3.4% and undecided 1.35%. Based on these numbers, we can deduce or we can say that there are no further statistical or major statistical difference between the two sets of data we have compared. All the results are similar. Let us now move to the quantification of these data. We shall quantify the mean from the comparison between LALO and SPLAT as data science dictates that those figures are more accurate than the comparison of the five survey results. By quantifying the mean, we shall be able to provide the most accurate presidential preferences as of April 2022. Here we go. Let us now check if there are really major significant differences between a data science-driven comparison or a layman simple data comparison. The topmost row show the mean or average of the presidential preferences in our first comparison between Splat Communications and Lalo Research we had earlier. The middle row shows the mean or average preference share based on the simple comparison between the five survey results from five different survey organizations. Now, kindly focus your attention on the bottom row enclosed in the red rectangle. We can see the differences between the two sets of studies. From left to right, Senator Ping Laxon 1.1%, Senator Manny Pacquiao 0.5%. VP Lenny Robredo 1.3%, Manila Mayor Isco Domagoso 1.05%, former Senator Ferdinand Marcos Jr. 3.4% and undecided 1.35%. Based on these numbers, we can deduce or we can say that there are no further statistical or major statistical difference between the two sets of data we have compared. All the results are similar. Let us now move to the quantification of these data. We shall quantify the mean from the comparison between LALO and SPLAT as data science dictates that those figures are more accurate than the comparison of the five survey results. By quantifying the mean, we shall be able to provide the most accurate presidential preferences as of April 2022. Here we go. Let us now compute for the estimated vote leads of the first to the third ranked presidential candidate. With simple subtraction of their estimated votes, former Senator Ferdinand Marcos Jr. leads VP Lenny Robredo with 29,227,500 votes. In the same manner BBM leads Mayor Isco with 37,958,750 votes. While VP Lenny leads Mayor Isco with 8,731,250 votes. Let us now simulate actual election day numbers based on the last national election voter turnout of 82%. This would be a more realistic representation of estimated number of votes based on the combined and more accurate survey data. Computing for the 82% possible voter figures, in descending order. Former Senator Ferdinand Marcos Jr.'s 63% would approximately yield around 34,870,500 votes. In second place, 
VP Lenny Robredo has 19.7% or approximately equivalent to 10,903,950 votes. In third is Manila Mayor Isco Domegoso with 6.75% or approximately equivalent to 3,736,125 votes. He is followed by Senator Manny Pacquiao with 4.8% or approximately around 2,656,800 votes. Next is Senator Ping Laxon with 4.5% or approximately equivalent to around 2,490,750 votes. Undecided is 3.25 or approximately around 1,798,175 votes. Now to compute for the possible vote leads of the first-ranked presidential candidate. Let us deduct their estimated percentage shares. Former Senator Ferdinand Marcos Jr. leads VP Lenny Robredo with 23,966,550 votes or nearly 24 million votes. That is more than double the her own estimated votes. Even if her estimated votes are doubled, she still loses by around 13 million votes. Even if VP Lenny's votes are tripled based on our computation, for the sake of simple argument, she still loses by 2.1 million votes. This is the reason why we have always believed and stated that it is impossible numerically, statistically and logically for former Senator Ferdinand Marcos Jr. to be defeated. Again, we have proven in this video when we integrated and analyzed all the surveys that have been published this month, it's really game over folks. It's game over. Game over. We would have called it this way too had any other candidate been in the lead. The earliest that the people accept this, the better for our country. For those leaders in the other camps, please don't give your supporters false hope. That is a very cruel thing to do. We have reached the end of this video, what can you say? Kindly share your thoughts in the comment portion. In behalf of my partner Rina and the rest of the Splat Communications and Simplified Strategic Solutions team, thank you. Till next time. Stay safe. Rosa out. Bye.